Hi, I'm Tom from Bullet Safe. We make a great bulletproof vest affordable for you. You know, you can read all the test reports you want about all these things and how they pass the National Institute of Justice tests, but some days you just got to take one out to the range and shoot it. That's what we're doing today. I borrowed every kind of handgun I could find that I didn't own, and we're going to shoot them all at it and see how it does. Hey, this is a 22 LR, so we're going to try that first. This is a 38 Special Revolver, we'll be firing one shot out of here. This is a 9mm. This is a 40 Cal Smith & Wesson. Right in the gut, that time. This is a 45 Auto. This is a 45 Auto fired out of a CX-4 Storm. <laughs> he's falling, is he dead? Oh look, he's got a dent here and then there's a nipple here. Look at that. Like there's a dent in and a dent out. Alright, that, well that was a lot of fun. It's always fun to shoot. And uh, we'll just back up on the stage here. As you can see, there's really no penetration in here. But I can tell you, it's a little lumpier. The aramid fiber is really smooth and flat when you get it, when it's brand new. And there's definitely some lumps. There are some bullets embedded in here. And we have a small dent in our bottle. So this vest has been working, but it's been doing its job all the way through that 45 ACP. So uh, now we're going to do some other tests with it because uh, I guess they just don't die yet. A lot of people wonder what it's like to be hit with a bullet while wearing a bulletproof vest. Some people say it's like being hit with a baseball bat. We're going to shoot a vest with a bunch of different caliper weapons and then we'll demonstrate to you what it feels like to be hit that way. Here's what to look for. Watch how much water sprays out of this bottle. That'll give you a good idea how strong the impact is. Then I'm going to hit it with a baseball bat and see if we can do the same thing. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, we're getting real now. That looks like it stung a bit. That's what it feels like to be shot by a cop. Yeah. <laughs> that was the winner. Man, same bullet, different gun, yeah. big difference. All right, now that we've seen what kind of splash we get out of it while it's got a vest on and being shot, I'm going to hit the same bottle with some of my favorite mechanics tools, and we'll see if we can make the same splash. So first, let's try a mallet. Rubber mallet. All right, let's see what happens when you hit it with a baseball bat. Well, I think we're somewhere in the middle. So if one of your friends asks you what you think it feels like to be shot while wearing a bulletproof vest, tell them you think it feels like either being hit with a rubber mallet in the gut or a baseball bat. Today we're going to find out how many bullets a bulletproof vest can deflect. Is it one? Is it two? Is it ten? You know, nobody knows. When we test these things in the lab, we shoot them six times, but in different areas. But what if you kept shooting it in the same spot? Let's find out. Let's try 22s and 40 cal and see how we do. All right, I got a 22 rifle. We're going to see how many rounds from a 22 rifle this bulletproof vest can take before it fails. Keep in mind, we already shot it six times. <laughs> with various guns. This will be fun. Alright, well, I shot an entire magazine of 22 long rifle, and my dad over here is itching to shoot too, so I'm gonna give him a shot. Uh oh, uh oh. 
Uh oh. Oh, it's leaking, it's leaking. Oh, you're gonna have a couple floating in here too. Yeah, finally made its way through. Look at that. And we finally broke the bottle, but I'm not actually sure a bullet went through it. Either way, this bulletproof vest really stood the test of a lot of bullets, and I'm impressed. Um, now we're going to try a 40 caliber bullet, so there should be a lot more heat in that one. We'll see how it does. Oh, let's see. I think it cracked the bottle. I think you're right. All right, we just cracked the bottle, so we're going to get another bottle and give it some more rounds. Yeah, you can feel it right here. Not a steel jacket, anyway. You can see that where the bullet impacted right here. The airman fibers inside. Actually, you see, look, that's a couple of layers in, hmm. and uh, you don't see anything penetrating to that depth. This is the 40 cal side. But look at this. You know, it's a lot of metal in there. So this is what makes a bulletproof vest. These fibers combine, they work cooperatively, and they uh, they stop bullets. They're pretty impressive. Now this is the one we put all those 22 bullets in. I open up this nylon carrier. Here's where they all went in. It's a padded layer in the front. You get through a layer or two. You can see we had a lot of action in this one area. There you go, you start seeing what these things do, you know. Now we're really starting to see we're shooting on top of each other. This one went far deeper because with more and more rounds, you know. Yeah. Last. Hold on. Oh, look at that. That's the deepest one. And look how many it went through. We still didn't get through the last two.